G'day, my name's Garth Wixon. I'm the Solutions Development Manager for St. Jenna here in Southern New South Wales. Today we're going to take the opportunity to have a look at a box of gold use pattern trial uh, conducted by Agro Agronomy uh, here just outside of Burrell. We're on Jeff Savage's property. Uh, he's sown Gregory about 35 kgs a hectare uh, on the 30th of April and uh, done that with a Morris contour drill with C2 openers. Uh, the trial we'll be looking at here today, we're comparing uh, the use, IBS use patterns to the split applications and the post-emergent applications of Box of Gold and looking at how the incorporation of pre-emergent chemistry followed by a post-emergent use of Box of Gold uh, achieves excellent ryegrass control. So the first treatment we want to look at today is the untreated to uh, establish a baseline of the amount of ryegrass that we've got here in the trial. As you can see, um, we've got quite a significant ryegrass uh, problem at this point. Uh, the counts have come back and basically showing there's uh, we've got up to 700 uh, ryegrass panicles per square metre, so quite a high population of ryegrass to start with and will provide a, a good challenge for the uh, box of gold treatments we're going to look at now. So here we are now in the box of gold 2.5 litre IBS treatment. It's pr given good uh, ryegrass control. It's taken the overall ryegrass number down from 100 plants per square metre down to 15. So it's given us about 84% uh, average control. Where the ryegrass has come from or where the numbers are, are emerging is in the furrow. Uh, the area between the rows is, is essentially clean. In terms of panicles, uh, we've just done the panicle count here and it's coming in at around 230 panicles per square metre. So the key challenge we often find with uh, IBS or incorporated by sowing applications with knife point press wheel setups with pre-emergent herbicides is that what we're doing is throwing the treated soil out of the row um, and leaving an untreated portion in the seeding furrow and you can see a classic example here uh, in this circumstance so we've taken out uh, the crop here in this situation with some glyphosate earlier in the season but you can see that the ryegrass has been able to germinate on the untreated uh, furrow wall and we've got good ryegrass control uh, in between the rows so with a conventional IBS pre-emergent herbicide use pattern uh, this is where the predominant amount of ryegrass uh, germinates and emerges from what we're hoping to do, or what we can do with the split application of Box of Gold, is improve this control uh, of in-row ryegrass by coming back post sowing pre-emergent and applying the product right across uh, the furrow. So we're putting 1.75 litres of Box of Gold IBS, so giving us good, a good base of uh, pre-emergent herbicide to control the ryegrass initially, and then coming back post sowing pre-emergent and creating a, a blanket treatment in the furrow, so improving the in furrow ryegrass control with that split application. Right, so we're now in the uh, box of gold split application. So here we're looking to improve the in furrow ryegrass control. So we've applied box of gold at 1.75 litres IBS, so incorporated by sowing. And then straight after sowing, in a post sowing pre-emergent format, we've come back with another 750 mils of box of gold. The whole objective with this treatment is to improve the ryegrass control over a traditional IBS application uh, by improving the box of gold or herbicide coverage in the furrow itself. So we've taken uh, the ryegrass numbers down from 100 in the untreated or plants per square metre down to two in the split application here. The average uh, ryegrass control is as a result at sitting at 97% control. And in terms of panicle counts, which we've just completed, uh, it's just come in just over 100 panicles per square metre. So uh, a marked step up or improvement over box of gold IBS in this situation. So we've now moved on to the post-emergent application treatments. Here we're looking at the boxer applied at two and a half litres at the one to two leaf stage of the ryegrass. And as you can quite clearly see, uh, it is giving some level of control, but really needs a pre-emergent herbicide to support the overall level of control. So we've seen the numbers reduced from one over 100 plants per square metre in the untreated to 77 here in the post-emergent treatment. So clearly highlighting the need or the support uh, of a pre-emergent herbicide where you're looking to use box of gold post-emergent. In terms of panicle numbers, uh, we've dropped uh, the panicle numbers from 700 in the untreated down to 400 here, so still providing uh, a reasonable level of e efficacy, but still uh, a reasonable amount of seed being set. So unlike the pre-emergent herbicide treatments, the post-emergent treatment isn't providing the same level of suppression uh, on things like wild oats. So with the IBS treatments providing some level of suppression on things like wild oats, uh, the post-emergent application isn't giving that same suppression. So in this plot, we're now looking at uh, the combination of a pre-emergent herbicide with a post-emergent application of box of gold. In this instance, we've applied 1.5 litres of trifluralin, IBS, 
and then come back and apply box of gold at two and a half litres per hectare uh, at the one to two leaf stage of the ryegrass. It's delivered excellent weed control, reducing plant numbers, ryegrass plant numbers, down from over 100 uh, per square metre, and the counts we've done have shown that there's only about one ryegrass plant per square metre left at that, giving us 98% uh, ryegrass control. Still uh, a couple of panicles per square metre as a result, but overall really robust ryegrass control. So on this plot, we're looking at uh, a more commercial application of the post-emergent use pattern. So we're basically combining a pre-emergent herbicide, uh, in this case, 1.5 litres of trefland, followed by box of gold at the one to two leaf stage of the ryegrass at two and a half litres per hectare. And in addition to that, we've incorporated 750 mils of Tigrex. One of the key questions we see uh, coming from this use pattern in terms of the box of gold use in a post-emergent format is its compatibility with other broadleaf herbicides. So in this case, we're looking at uh, the level of efficacy of the box of gold uh, when in combination with a, a broadleaf herbicide. And again, just like in the other treatments where box of gold's been applied uh, alone in combination with a pre-emergent herbicide, we're getting good ryegrass control. So um, average ryegrass control on this plot's been about 98% and reduced panicle count down to about 40 uh, panicles per square metre. So a really good result uh, showing that there's no issues with compatibility around box gold when applied in a post-emergent use. So today we've looked at box gold when used IBS, providing good early season weed control. In addition to that, we've looked at the benefit of using box gold in a split application, improving the overall ryegrass control by taking out ryegrass in the furrow, which is sometimes left behind by the IBS use pattern. In addition to that, we've also looked at box gold applied post-emergent when used alone or in combination with a pre-emergent herbicide, delivering robust ryegrass control. The key takeaway there is the need to incorporate a pre-emergent herbicide when using box of gold post to maximise the ryegrass control.